Welcome back. We're here at Colby Sawyer College, and joining me now is Jean Connolly. She's the Executive Director for the Center for the Arts. Welcome. Thank you for having me back. Spring is always a busy time for it, the arts. It is. <sighs> it's when everything blossoms. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot going on this spring and into the summer, but let me tell you about um, an immediate event that's happening on April 10th, Friday, April 10th. We usually have first Fridays, but this month it's on the second Friday, April 10th, and it's a combination of poetry, music, and art. It's a, it's going to be a wonderful evening. It's called Poetry Born of Music, Ooh. and it's uh, the Literary Arts Guild and the Summer Music Associates have combined together to create this evening. The trio Cleonice, which mm -hmm. is just an outstanding trio from Boston, classical music, um, will be doing a concert and local poets have been submitting their poetry to be judged in a contest that nice. where the music has inspired them. And it was Alice Fogel, the poet laureate of New Hampshire, who was the judge for this concert, oh uh, for, the, for the contest. For the competition. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what a nice yeah. medley of the arts. It is. It's always a wonderful evening. It's happening at the Knowlton House mm -hmm. in That's Lake Sunapee Harbor. It is. Mm -hmm. And it's 5 to 7 on, on April 10th. So I, I hope everyone will be able to drop in and see this amazing combination of music and poetry and art. Great kickoff to spring, it too, is. right yeah. there in the harbor. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Good. And then um, how about for May? In May, now May 1st is uh, one of our gallery nights, mm -hmm. and we do this every three months. Mm -hmm. We have rotating exhibits at our micro galleries yes. um, at the New London Inn, Lake Sunapee Bank on Main Street. Mm -hmm. And this year, uh, this May, we're collaborating with the uh, New London Hospital. Uh, the galleries there, they're having a retrospective um, exhibit with about 20 former artists, artists that have exhibited in the past. Nice. Uh, so it's a, a, a large exhibit there at the hospital. The Kearsage Chorale Chamber Singers will be singing there. Mm. At the New London Inn, we have 10 artists from the former Banks Gallery. Uh, again, outstanding artists. And we have Tom Pirazzoli uh, providing music yes. there. And the Lake Sunapee Bank uh, on Main Street will be hosting Suzanne Cronin, who is an Americana artist, very well known uh, in national magazines and awards mm -hmm. uh, for her Amer Americana paintings. And also Tatewell Gallery is joining us this May. So I hope Yay. people will stop in there. They always have a great selection of uh, artwork by local and regional artists there. So that's May 1st. That's and all again, the same night. You're all just, the you same can night. hop right through town. That's the idea. Get a nice that's meal. the idea. Mm -hmm. It's a gallery stroll. Mm -hmm. uh, so we hope people will go from, from gallery to gallery five to seven. There'll be receptions at all the all the openings. So it's a fun night. Oh, that's a lovely night a out. Night. Very good, good. Mm -hmm. Now for all the budding artists in the audience, you've got some great workshops with some talented instructors. We really do. Now we started these workshops in September and they've uh, they've really taken off. So we have um, instructors that uh, you just don't find in small communities and we're so fortunate to have them here in New London. Um, uh, Elizabeth Kramer for pastel, uh, Tatiana Yanovskaya Sink for oils, Aileen Ordman for pastels and oils, uh, Larry Harper who's doing our photography. And um, all of these instructors are award-winning, nationally acclaimed artists. They're wonderful instructors. And they're doing workshops and classes at Whipple Hall. You know, how, how convenient. You don't have to drive anywhere. Right. So we have uh, classes and workshops coming up in May. Mm -hmm. It will continue June. It'll continue through the summer. A lot of the classes will be outside. Oh, yay. And, um, and you can get more information on our website. Mm -hmm. But the place to sign up is at the Rec Department, the New okay. London Recreation Department. Mm -hmm. They have the registration. Okay. So you can get all the information from us, but then please go to the Rec Department and sign up. And I do want to mention that we have beginner classes as well. Right. So so for those who have never taken a class before, mm -hmm. who are looking to try their hand, there's nothing like holding a brush. It makes you feel great. <laughs> Absolutely. And you've got some, a few offerings for children, we too. Do. Mm -hmm. We do. We do. Actually, Allison Vernon has been uh, doing a lot of children's classes. We have an April vacation class coming up. Uh, I think she's making funky clocks Cute. out of uh, yes. different materials. And um, we're planning a one-week art camp in the mm -hmm. summer with Allison for children. Excellent. And also in the planning stages of a paint and sip class. Okay, which those is are quite popular. Which is a very fun mm -hmm. class. Uh, mm -hmm. That probably will be starting the end of May, um, where 
anybody can can drop in, have a glass of wine, and Fun. follow some instruction, and go home with a painting. Absolutely, great. I think that one of the best ways to stay up to date on what's going on is to subscribe to your email letter because I Thank get you. it I, all the time, and that's how I everything. can see. So if you go get on your website, sign up Please for that do. letter because it tells you there's your list of fun things to do right there. Everything's yes. there. Yes, that's good. right. Thank you for bringing the arts to our community. Well, thank you for having me. Best wishes for a nice spring. You too. Thanks, Jean. Okay.